Today, I'll be going over the one resource that helped me successfully pass the PMI application in order to take the PMP exam. Here's exactly what I used. Let's get into it. In order to take the PMP exam, you need to submit an application to PMI for eligibility. Basically, what this means is PMI wants to make sure that you have enough work experience before making you eligible in order to take the exam. When you go on PMI's website, if you scroll down to certifications, you'll be able to find the PMP requirements. And then there is a link called how to apply, which will show you the steps needed and the requirements. The one resource that I found to be super helpful when applying for the PMI application was PM Aspirants PMP Project Description. I'll link the website and the resource in the description below. The reasons why this resource was so helpful to me is because it was very straight to the point and it was very easy to understand. PMI Aspirant also included tips and common mistakes to avoid on your application. And the most important piece, drum roll, was that the website also included example project descriptions so you could see what other applicants had put for examples and compare that against your own. I found these example project descriptions to be very helpful in helping to shape mine and how to view my experiences. The exam details and certification details are listed on the website, but I'll call those out real quick. The first requirement from PMI is you need to have either a four-year degree or 60 months of leading projects within the past eight years. So these are two separate requirements. Basically, PMI is equating having a bachelor's degree from a university to the same as having X amount of hours with demonstrated work experience in the project field. In addition to education, PMI also requires you to have 35 hours of project management training. So this can come in many different forms. I personally use the Udemy course. I believe it was under $15 to get 35 hours of virtual training. And it was a very efficient and cost-effective way. If you fulfilled the two requirements on PMI's website, then you're able to actually apply for the application. In the PMI application, one section that you need to focus on is your work experience and your project history. If you've had a four-year degree at an institution, PMI requires you to have at least three years of project management experience to accompany that. Those three years of experience need to be broken down into each individual project, your responsibilities, and they need to abide by PMI's project guidelines. Hope this resource was helpful. Best of luck with your PMI application and your exam. Please comment down below if you have any additional questions and good luck.